In today's episode, we're going to be changing this to this. Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Now I'm going to start posting these on Friday and as cheesy as it might sound, I'm going to start calling it Flipping Friday because that's what I'm doing with this house. I'm going to be flipping it and future houses from here on out. So I'll try and make more videos, but be on the lookout for these specific videos on Friday. I'll still be doing truck related and trailer related and other videos and reviews on Sundays. So as you guys can already tell by the title and the thumbnail, we're gonna be changing out the windows in the basement. Now I was able to get the correct windows. There they are. Now, they're not the exact fitment. They are a little bit narrower and a little bit taller than the windows that are in there. But the most important part, which you always wanna check with your local um, county, not county, but local building department, most of them are going to require that the window is, I don't know if you can see, the Energy Star rated with all the numbers and values, the U factor and everything, they're gonna want the sticker. As much as you might think, what a waste or why do I need this for basement windows, they do require, at least the town that I'm working in, they require this sticker for these windows, even for a basement because they just do. So I can't just throw in any old $40, $30 window in the basement, I have to use these specific windows. Now, what's interesting about these windows, let me open this one up. The, uh, they are metal frame, metal frame that was within the concrete, and they're very nasty. So we got to bust the frame from the concrete, from the sides and the bottom, and the top, is actually free. So that, we would cut it with a sawzall and then bust everything in, bust it up, bust out the bottom. Kind of a bit of labor intensive work, but it's gotta be done. These windows, they're, they have air coming in from like up here and from the sides. They don't seal well anymore. So that's why we gotta change them out. This way, it'll just look nicer, especially since we're finishing the basement or will be finishing the basement and I want to get the new windows in before I start framing this way I know what I'm framing up to all the way around so I'm not playing a guessing game later but let's get into it and start ripping up this window and change it out
had my camera shut off, but the battery ended up dying twice on me. So I think it caught me screwing in the frame to the one by threes that I concrete screwed into, well, the concrete, and possibly me putting expansion foam around the frame inside and out. If it did, great. If it didn't, oh well. You can see that I put it in there. Now, the last thing, not really the last thing to do, but time to put the windows themselves in one-handed. So that one goes there. Again, this is that sticker I was talking about that the town is going to be looking for. And now this window. And lock. All good. Okay, so we unlock it. Window slides open that way. Slides open that way. And it locks. Perfect. Now this is a Anderson window or American, what is that? American Craftsman by Anderson. So it's basically an Anderson, just their more cost effective windows, I guess. But otherwise the window is in, it's really, it's functional. It's not going anywhere. The only thing else left to do is, like I said, I'm gonna be framing the entire basement. So I'm gonna frame the window around it, or when I frame the wall, I'm gonna frame it around the window so I can get the drywall right up to it and then put like quarter round trim all the way around it. And it'll be all nice and it'll look nice. Now on the outside, because I don't know if you can tell, but this like is tapered in and the outside is a little bit worse. So I'm gonna be doing brick mold out there, but I'll show you guys once I have the brick mold done, I'm just waiting for this stuff to dry and expand so that I can cut it before I do the brick mold. But otherwise, this is all done. All right guys, so as you saw in that last clip, I was caulking the window and did the best that I could because, well, it's on concrete and try to smooth it out with my fingers a little bit, but I'd say that looks way better than what was in there because those other windows just look like complete garbage. And here's a look at the windows from the inside. Yes, not the prettiest thing, but it's all gonna be finished off when the basement gets finished. Got that window over there. That window is peeking right about there. That window right there. That window and that one. This was the last window that I did and probably the best one because, well, it's the last window. So by the time I did six of them, this one turned out great. The only issue is the ductwork that was right here. Well, as you can see, I'm already almost touching it. So every time I would step up to go work on said window, you can see I hit my head a lot. And I was not very happy about it, but otherwise all the windows are done in the basement. That's finished. Don't have to worry about those anymore. They are all Energy Star rated, which means they're all gonna pass inspection, but that won't happen until I get the framing the rough and electrical and the insulation in. Now as far as the electrical goes, I'm having an electrician come in because electrician has to a licensed electrician has to do it. I am not a licensed electrician. So I'm subbing that out to an electrician. 
but otherwise I do everything myself. So next video will be framing the basement out. So just to recap, got the windows put in and as you saw, I concrete screwed one by threes into the side of the, well, foundation and then screw the window to the one by threes and they're pretty, I'd say they're pretty much in there and no one's gonna, I mean, if you full blown probably kicked it in, yeah, it's gonna go in, but that's like any window. Otherwise, pretty simple, foundations pretty square. Now, you wanna double check it because when you're busting out the concrete and you're putting in the one by threes, it's good to double check it and make sure the window is square this way and kind of up and down because there is some leverage or leeway I should say this way but otherwise these windows are awesome I love them they're way better than what was in here and they just look really good and they're gonna look really good when the whole basement's finished but anyways guys that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did go ahead give it a big thumbs up if you didn't go ahead and give it a dislike but let me know what I can prove on for future videos I have the light right in my face but Anyways, if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.